Hello friends, this is Scott, and today is Brassica Planting Day. Now, it is the early May, and I am a month late getting this job done, but I needed to build this wall and bring in the dirt and do all that fun stuff. So, I'm late on my brassicas, and as well as the weather hasn't been cooperating very well lately. It's been raining a lot and been cool, but this these types of plants like that kind of weather. So, here I am just raking out the bed, just getting it smooth. And uh, I'm enjoying that it's a little bit higher now. I don't have to stoop down so low to plant plants into this bed. So it should be a, a good experience for me today out here in the garden. And uh, we'll get started and we'll see how much of this we can get planted today. I actually made it to the nursery a couple weeks ago. And I've just been keeping these plants on the side of the house, keeping them watered until I can find the right time to plant. But as you see, we have a pretty good variety here of plants to plant today. So let's get going. First step is I'm gonna do a little speed laying out of plants. As you see my wife in the background coming in and out of the picture, she's doing a little yard work of her own. But I'm just laying these out, just trying to get the right spacing, just to see kind of how I want it to be. Now let's take a look at the specific plants that we're gonna to plant today. Looks like we have some red cabbage. Looks like I only bought one pack of those, looks like six. And then we've got six cauliflower plants. As you see here, there's a little bit of glare on the tag, so it's hard to see what varieties these are particularly, but not too worried about the varieties. I just grab what the nursery has. Now we have broccoli. I grabbed lots of broccoli. So it looks like we have probably 18 plants of broccoli. Next up is some just some early cabbage, some green cabbage. So I've got, looks like eight plants of those. And then we have Brussels sprouts. And a couple varieties of kale. We have blue curled scotch kale. And we have red Russian kale. And I'm gonna show you that we also have Swiss chard. And we have some leeks but I didn't have enough room to plant the Swiss chard and leeks here. So, so I'm showing them, but we'll have to find another home for them. Here's a look at the plants all laid out, and I do have them pretty close together. So I'm gonna to try to dense plant this. Uh, this bed is very rich with great soil in here, very fluffy, as I just built it. So we're gonna to try to cram as many plants in here as we can and uh, see what we can come up with. And also, they'll shade out weeds too. First, I just wanna show you this, the basic cellophane plant and how they come and how you take them out of the of the pot. You just squeeze the bottom and it pushes the plant out as you're gently grabbing the top. And I always break the roots. You see the root band at the bottom. So I always rough those up or break them off. And I'm going to plant these at, at the soil depth that they were in the container. So very simple. And most people have done this and uh, thought I'd show you just to be clear on what I'm going to do with each of these plants. So the first plant, I'm going to start with the kale. As you see, this one's got some roots, root bound at the bottom, so I'm just going to break those up. And I'm going to get rid of these plant tags too here in a minute. I'm not much for a plant tag person. I generally remember the plants that I plant, but eh, not always. It's like with apple trees and everything else, I wish I would have left the tags on, but I didn't. So I did leave that tag there, but I think I get it later. So both types of kale are going to go in. And again, I'm just breaking these up very simply. The soil is very loose, very rich, so I don't even need a shovel, really. I'm just going to use them just to pry the soil apart and uh, just push them in. Nothing to it. Now I'm going to show you the speed planting. As you see, I take this really seriously. I just go for it. It only takes me minutes to do this bed. In reality, it took me probably, I don't know, 10 minutes at the most to do this real speed. Very simple, but if this bed was not as well prepared, it would be a lot harder to plant. And, uh, but this soil is so loose and fluffy that it's just a piece of cake just to get them all and get them all pushed in. And there we have it. They are close together. So when these grow, they're gonna be shading out all the, of the weed activity, hopefully. And we'll have to figure out what we plant here once the, the spring uh, crops are done. But again, because I'm being late, this bed will probably be utilized for most of the season with these vegetables. But looks pretty good. Sometimes I stagger rows a little bit, but this time I just did straight rows. As always, the next step is watering the crop in. 
heavily. My wife's out here working and she's uh, doing her little projects. She was working on her fairy garden, so I'll do an update on that here in the next few videos, but she's done a good job on that. But again, I just want to soak everything in really good before I do the next step, which is always apply mulch. Now you see the wire basket on the end of the wire uh, cylinder at the end of this bed. Those are going to be the pole beans, and I'll get those in the ground here in the very near future, and I'll do a separate video on those. But just want to get it all soaked in, uh, just so that when we apply the mulch, it stays wet. As I've been doing all spring, I'm just using grass hay uh, to be the mulch. And again, there may be some weed seeds in here, but shouldn't be a big deal. I'll pull them out when they're young, as soon as I see them, and feed them to the chickens. Uh, so I'm just trying to do a light layer. I am going to cover up the plants a little bit, but as it gets watered in and as they grow, it's, they're going to come out of the mulch. So it's not a big deal, just like I did with the onions and the lettuce and everything else. Now I'm going to bring in some uh, bark mulch later in the season to top these beds off. But right now I just want to get uh, just a little bit of grass hay in here just so that we can uh, make sure that the, the moisture stays consistent. And I haven't turned the sprinklers on, so with our drought situation, I want to try to conserve as much water for as long as possible. It only takes a couple flakes of hay to do this entire bed, so it's not a, a lot of material. I originally got two bales, and I've used those two bales. I still have probably half a bale left, if not three quarters of a bale, that I got this spring when I started planting other crops. But just finishing off the final little bit here, I'll go back through and make sure that I haven't covered up the plants too much, uh, and just make sure that they can still get some light. But they're going to grow very tall here, so it's not going to be a big deal. This mulch will stay down on the, on the bottom of the bed once it's watered in. As always, the final step is to wet the mulch in. Soak it in good so that it doesn't wick water away from the, the moist soil beneath. And so that it just holds the moisture that we've already soaked into the bed. Again, Utah is facing an unprecedented drought, and we need to make sure that we do our best to conserve as much water as possible. So... I will continue to be providing mulch. Here's a look at the mulched in bed. And it doesn't look too pretty with the mulch just laying all over everything, but it'll all water in and, and the plants will grow through it and it'll just put make a nice barrier. It'll suppress weeds and, and keep the moisture where the plants need it. So all in all, pretty easy project to do today. And it didn't take a very long, but that's what I decided to do with this bed. That's all it takes to plant brassicas in a new bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please hit the like, subscribe, and comment, as I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for all your support, and uh, the channel's growing, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Stay tuned for a lot of update videos on how the progress has gone on the spring planted vegetables.